You sure run into some nice folks out this way. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show, so don't come asking for a refund. Uh, you should know the artworks are not endorsed by gallery staff. The exhibition is through there, if you can call it that. The sooner you go in there, the sooner you can come out. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe. We'll miss the party. I think that it's Greek. Or could be Roman. Too modern for my tastes. Mr. Chardonnay, he's just a terror. It's making me blush. I find the brushwork baffling. What's he trying to represent aside from a filthy mess? It's a. you know. I'm sorry, I don't know. Well, let's just say. I can't say. Not in mixed company. <laughs> Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her... Delicate! <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't have exposed herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you! That's it! <laughs> oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here! Hey. I am a bitch! Oh, you God. filthy little man! Oh! <laughs> oh! Come on, horse! We are leaving! Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie! Hey. All right! <laughs>
arrangement. This way, this way, come on! I think we are okay. The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring! That it was not. Morning. Bonjour. People, push them! I thought I was a fraud, a no-talent brush washer! Now I'm not sure! We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. Neoma, I told you I was a fool! You did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. Remember, read the label. Hmm. 
Let me just stock up on my supplies.
Hi there. You kidding? Hello, sir. Hello. Senor. You'll find the show in either of the doors. Keep holding that me. gun. Someone might make you use it. Ladies. Oh, how do you do? tell you a morality tale from when our country was young, but the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man Wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night. But for sixty, go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends, the turtle said. If Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, well, There's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told.
Partner. Hello, sir. Watch yourself, partner. How do you do? Uh, hey there, partner. Hello. Nice to see you, sir. Looks familiar. Paying it all off, then. Good for you, I guess. Where'd you get all this money? Actually, no, I don't want to know. Thank you. Madam, back here. Hello, sir. How do you do? to go to Valentine. Looks like we'll have a long ride together. Hello. Yeah. Hey, partner. Hey there. You hear about the massacre over at the trolley station in San Denis? I knew a fellow who worked there for a while. Terrible business. Hello there, pleased to see you. Is that it? Careful, big man. Hey, you mind your damn step. Yeah. Go on, get going. Hey there. Nice, boy. Fine looking animal you got there, I'm friend. Our very own avenging angel. Look on the wall there if you're after another quarry.
Nasty individual. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, I got it. This bounty you're after, the lady, what's she do? Mrs. Swan? <laughs> Poor dear. Married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. 